Hi everyone. Today we are going to deal with influence line diagram or ILE of a simply supported beam. Consider a simply supported beam AB of span L meters. I need to find out the response function at a section. Response function includes the following. Reaction, shear force and bending moment. I am considering a section at a distance Z from the left support A. Let the unit load be at a distance X from A. First of all, we need to find out the reactions Ra and Rb. We shall equate the upward force to downward force. So we get Ra plus Rb is equal to 1 kN. Now we will take moment about A. Here anti-clockwise moment is taken as positive and clockwise moment is taken as negative. On solving, we get the value of Rb as x by L. Substituting to the first equation, we get Ra is equal to 1 minus x by L. Now, we are going to draw the ILD for Ra. We have already calculated the equation for Ra as 1 minus x by L. At A, where x is 0, Ra becomes 1 minus 0 by L, that is 1. At point B, where x is L, Ra becomes 1 minus L by L, that is 0. Now, we are going to draw the ILD for Ra. At x is equal to 0, Ra is 1. At x is equal to L, Ra is 0. And so is the ILD for Ra. Similarly, we will draw the ILD for Rb. We have already calculated the equation for Rb as x by L. At x is equal to 0, Rb becomes 0 by L, that is 0. At x is equal to L, Rb becomes L by L, that is 1. And so is the ILD for Rb. At x is equal to 0, Rb is 0. At x is equal to L, Rb is 1. Next is the ILD for shear force. Again, we have the same simply supported beam AB of span L. Section is at a distance Z from A and unit load at a distance X from A. Here X is less than Z. Here shear force at the section is written as minus RB. That minus is taken due to the sign convention followed that Downward forces to the right of section are taken as positive. Here, Rb is in upward direction and so is the minus. Value of Rb is x by L as calculated already. At x is equal to 0, shear force becomes 0 by L or 0. And at x is equal to Z, shear force becomes minus of Z by L. This is the plot. At x is equal to 0, shear force is 0. At x is equal to z, shear force is minus of z by L. And so it is drawn to the bottom portion. Now the 1 kN load is placed to the right of section. That is x is greater than z here. Shear force can be written as Ra and the value of Ra is already calculated. Now Ra is taken positive here again due to the sign convention followed that upward forces are positive to the left of section. Here Ra is to the left of section and therefore is positive. When x is equal to z, shear force becomes 1 minus z by L. When x is equal to L, shear force becomes 1 minus L by L or 0. 
Now we are going to plot it. At x is equal to z, shear force is 1 minus z by L. At x is equal to L, shear force is 0. Now we are going to combine these two. At x is equal to 0, at x is equal to z, at x is equal to z, at x is equal to L. And this is the ILD for shear force at C. Next, we will plot the ILD for bending moment at section. We have taken the same simply supported beam AB of span L with section at distance Z and unit load at distance X from A. When X less than Z, bending moment can be written as RB into perpendicular distance up to the section which is L minus Z. And RB is already calculated as X by L. Now, at point A where x is equal to 0, bending moment becomes 0 by L into L minus Z, that is 0. When x is equal to Z, bending moment becomes Z by L into L minus Z and it is plotted. When x greater than Z, that is the unit load is to the right of section, bending moment can be written as Ra into perpendicular distance up to the section which is Z. Value of Ra is substituted, 1 minus x by L. Now, when x is equal to z, bending moment can be written as 1 minus z by L into z. When x is equal to L, bending moment can be written as 1 minus L by L into z, which is 0. Now, the same is plotted. This is the ILD for bending moment at section. Now, we will consolidate all the ILDs into a single page. This is the ILD for RA. At A, it's 1 and at B, it's 0. Now, ILD for RB, at B, it is 1 and at A, it is 0. This is the ILD for shear force at C. At C, it has two values, minus Z by L and 1 minus Z by L. This is the ILD for bending moment. At section, its value is Z by L into L minus Z. Now, we will go through a short trick to draw ILD for shear force through a problem. Find shear force at section K. We are given a simply supported beam AB of span 10 meters with point load 7 kN at 2 meter distance, 6 kN at 5 meter distance and 5 kN at 8 meter distance from A. We are asked to find out shear force at section K which is at distance 6 meter from A. In order to draw the ILD for shear force easily, we have to plot a line through section join the bottom point to the left end A and top point to the right end B. Draw dotted lines corresponding to each point loads. Mark these dotted lines as F1, F2 and F3. This point we already know the value. It's Z by L. Z is 6. L is 10. So 0.6. Top point equation is 1 minus Z by L. That is 1 minus 6 by 10 which is 0.4. Together if these two values give a summation of 1. Then what we have done is right. Else we have gone wrong somewhere. To find out F1, F2 and F3, we need to use the concept of similar triangles. To find out F1, we have to take this small triangle and this big triangle. Now, this 0.6 upon this 6 meter distance is equal to this F1 upon this 2 meter distance. That is 0 0.6 by 6 is equal to F1 by 2 which gives F1 is equal to 0 0.2. Now in order to find F2 we have to take this triangle and the big triangle. 0 0.6 upon 6 is equal to F2 upon 5. 
0.6 by 6 is equal to f2 by 5 which gives f2 is equal to 0.5. Now to find out f3 we need to choose this small triangle and the big triangle. 0.4 upon 4 meter distance is equal to f3 divided by 2 meter which gives f3 is equal to 0.2. So the equation for shear force can be written as summation of load into corresponding intercept in influence line diagram. It is 7 into f1, 6 into f2, 5 into f3. The equation is written as 7 into f1 plus 6 into f2 plus 5 into f3. f1 is already found out as 0.2. Now this part is negative, this part is positive. Therefore f1 and f2 are negative, f3 is positive. Therefore 7 into minus 0.2 plus 6 into minus 0.5 plus 5 into plus 0.2 which gives out a final value of minus 3.4 kN. Therefore, shear force at the section is minus 3.4 kN. Thank you.